Really, what's your thoughts after that one tonight? Yeah, yeah, delighted, yeah. Um, good, good run we're on at the minute, so... Um, got to be happy with it, yeah. Yeah, really, really delighted. The last time we spoke, after the Clyde game, you were feeling pretty down, but since then you've gone on unbeaten in four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was frustrated, I would say. Yeah, really frustrated, especially the ending of the last game. That last game, play game. I was probably just a bit raw. Um, maybe too honest. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I was, but you look at now how, how contrast of life, how you can be high and low and, you know, never to get too indulged in one emotion. So, uh, I'm definitely happier now than I was in that game. I know that. It is a, an unbeaten run of four now, so start yeah. to build momentum. <clears throat> Yeah, momentum's a funny thing in football and in life, I would say. It's a funny thing how a few wins can completely change your mindset of the team and uh, how you play. Um, it looks a bit of desire, you know, a bit of heart, which is I probably questioned after the game against Clyde. Um, so, I mean, you've got to be happy with the way it's going at the moment um, and hopefully it just continues the rest of the year. Like. People playing, it's a squad game, isn't it? So... The ones coming off the bench are playing their part too. Yeah, yeah. I think he, he, the gaffer's been reiterating that throughout the whole time he's been here. And, you know, it's such a cliche thing, the hashtag winning it together. But it, we are. Re- realistically, you need everyone. You, you, you need everyone. You need you. You need everyone here. The staff you need the manager and you need the players. It's not just a, a couple of people, you know. It is, a, it is a beloved club by a lot of people and they care about it. So... Look at the, the subs coming on. They need to play their part also. So um, there was no lack of effort or desire from them either, and that's the most important bit because their quality is decent, really, really decent. It wants to be, and obviously, Connor came on. Harry comes on. You know, it's good quality. Like, and then Ross comes on, and runs his heart out, and that's what you need from you. Need, you need from everyone, you know. Yeah, goal was first half, but three goals in that second half and three good finishes. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought we were really bad the first half. Uh, really sloppy and slack. Um, really not like us at all we started really well last week and we kind of defended the second half and you know I was probably a bit frustrated you know coming up to me and it was just breaking down um, but the second half was us and I think we just needed that I said it in the other, to the other guy there I think we just needed a bit of spark um, and obviously I just turned got the shot off and then after that we kind of just transformed the game I would say um, you know and put us on the way up Talked about momentum there, but confidence is a big thing as well. And once yes. you get that goal in front as well, that helps, doesn't it? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The goal's important, isn't it? Seriously, the goals are they change games. So uh, yeah, you can see it oozing with the kind of the our play then after that, and you know we're not we're not misplacing passes and we're we're spreading the ball about and <clears throat> we're aggressive. Um, but I think you should try get that from the start of the game because we could really really go beat teams well. So, you know, it's about finding that all the time. Clean sweep against Edinburgh this season? I know, we're a bogey team. We're a bogey team. I must be the boogie man. <laughs> but that's the way it is. I don't know. Look, it's, it's a mental... I think it might just be a mental thing. I mean, they've obviously picked up better results during the season. And you look at it now and you think, how, how are we not in a better position if we can beat teams like Falkirk and Edinburgh? And, you know, it's just probably just a, a form thing they've been through and they've kind of fell off a wee bit, but... I mean, don't get it twisted. They're, they're, they're a good team, they're good players, but um, we just seem to get the better of them. You know, maybe stylistically, we just don't match up well for them. So um, I'm not complaining. Inconsistency has been Queen's problem, hasn't it? Yeah. We could have been consistent throughout the season, could have been up there as well. We had a very, very different position, yeah. Um, Inconsistency has been a terrible thing. I'm sick of hearing that word, to be honest. Uh, I've been here and there. You know, being inconsistent means nothing in life, you, you know. Bang average, no one cares about bang average, so uh, that, that is what... But momentum helps consistency, so, you know, it's maybe maybe we'll have a tight game in the next couple of weeks and that bit of momentum will give us the edge in the last bit of it, you know, so um, don't get too ahead of yourself, you know, because we need to take every game at a time and we need to treat every game the same because we're not betting any team in this league. We're all the same. You know, it's fair game every week, so we, we need to be on it every week. There's Peterhead next, who have been struggling this season, so you can't switch off and you can't be no, complacent. I don't care. I don't care how long, how much they've been struggling. I don't care if we're playing them firmly, we've only lost once. You, it's just got to be the same. R- really, you know, you can't... Com- you, we, we're not Messi and Ronaldo at this level, you know, you can't afford to be complacent. Um, it needs to be, you're running, you're sprinting for every ball and you're putting your body in the line and, you know, you're hurting and you're out of breath, you know. It, 
it doesn't matter how much they're struggling. All is fair in love and war, so it doesn't matter. You know, next week, next week we need to go at them the same way, the same tenacity about us and get three points, you know, take every game at a time. I was saying to the manager as well, it seems to be, I was asking who if he's starting to get, what he's looking for from the players. Are you feeling that that is starting to come together now that he's in and he's starting to play his way? Yeah, look, I've got an awful lot of time for Gaffer. Uh, obviously, I was a young boy on the Ethan and he always treated me with respect and he seems to treat everyone the same and he puts trust in us. He's put a lot of trust in me, uh, a lot of faith in me and I think even more, he's, he's a great human. So... Um, but there's a real, real belief, I think, behind what he's doing and what he's asking us to do. And it's not too complicated, you know. It's, it's very simple instructions, but we've been over it and over it and over it. And, it's, you know, you're kind of si seeing the fruition of it now. And uh, he believes it, and so do I. And I think if we all stick with him, I think we could do well, yeah.